DBM is important questions part 2 SQL the first question is what is SQL and explain the basic structure of SQL queries so what is SQL SQL is nothing but the structured query language so this is nothing but a tool which is used for dealing with the, the relational kind of DBMS. So what is meant by relational kind of DBMS? It is nothing but dealing with the tables. So anything that you represent in the form of rows and columns is called as table and SQL mainly works on this type of tables. For what it is especially used for storing and managing the data in the relational database so what is the main background or what is that that is mainly playing a major role in dealing with the sql queries it is nothing but the relational algebra so this relational algebra and the basic concepts and different types of uh, uh, operators that we have this will discuss in the next coming lectures so let's try to understand a few more key points here SQL is a non-procedural query language. So before trying to understand this, there are two main types of languages we have. One is the procedural kind, the other one is the non-procedural kind. So what is meant by procedural? So procedural is nothing but while writing the query, you may have to answer two questions. The first one, how to get the data? And before that, what kind of data you need? So you need to state or you need to write your program stating both the conditions. So what data use is needed and how to get the data. Both the questions are to be answered. Whereas coming to the non-procedural kind of language, here you need to address only what data is needed and you are not bothered about how to get the data. So don't you think the work is simplified over here? So you need to just state what data is needed and the predetermined algorithm at the back end that means the inbuilt and the ready-made algorithms at the back end will look into the process of how to get the data so just say what you want and remaining headache will be taken care by the database management system and finally you will get your result ready-made in front of you so Apart from this SQL, so your RDBMS, that is Relational Database Management System, have some other tools like MySQL, Informix, Oracle, MS Access, and SQL Server, just now what we have seen. And more profound and most demanded or the most convenient tool that is being used is your SQL. Why? Because whatever the queries you write in SQL will be just like your English language. So you can see in the coming uh, sessions when we look into the queries, so it looks very close to your own language and you can understand the queries very easily. And the other key point that you need to keep in mind with SQL is it is not case sensitive. That means you need not worry about the capital and small letters. So you can uh, go on writing your query irrespective of minding whether it is small letter or capital letter. Only thing you just keep in mind is while uh, expressing the keywords, uh, that means uh, the commands that you have in your SQL that you better put in the uppercase. So it can be a good practice. So next one is, uh, uh, the most of the actions in a database can be performed using the SQL statements. So whatever operations that you have, you can you want to handle over the database that is especially the relational database or I can say the table kind of database, you can comfortably use your structured query language and do all the operations. Now let's try to understand the basic structure of SQL query that is here. Uh, main part of the question. The basic structure of SQL query mainly deals with the uh, excuse me, deals with three main commands that is select from where clause. So let's try to see what is meant by select from where from the example shown here and then let's get into the main concept. In this example we have statements like select s name from student where age is greater than 18. So 
it's very clear from this simple example so what if we put in select command so here i mentioned something called as s name that is it can be the name of the attribute by common sense yes or no and later then i'm saying from student so what can be the students the student can be the name of the table yes so next one is where so what did i put in the where clause so in where i'm putting a condition saying i want the name of those students whose age is greater than 18. so this condition is going to filter out the data of the student's name whose age is greater than 18. so one of the column is s name which i want as the output from where from the table name student and what names am I pulling all the names from the table? No, I'm just pulling the names of only those people whose age is greater than 18. So if the if this particular example is clear for you, let's move on further. Let's try to understand each of this clause in detail. In select clause, you have to specify the attributes that you want to see in the result relation so you need to specify only those attributes which you want as the output in the select clause so on which part of the table this action is taking place it is taking action over the columns or i can say it is acting over the attributes so as this action is taken over the attributes i can say that the select clause is very similar to the projection operator in the relational algebra so this concept of relational algebra and these operators that i have already explained in one of the videos that i have shown in the um, I, co I column so you can check over here so next one is about the from clause so what you specify in the from clause so here you have to specify the list of the relations or the names of all the relations that are taking part in the query so in the above example i'm hardly taking only one table but in practice in the complex uh, that uh, the database is so complex that you may have to deal with more than one table at a time so there you have to specify all the tables that are taking part in the relation like table one table two table three so on all those things has to be specified in the from clause so that is what we have seen here what relation list from relation list so next one is the where clause so where clause involves the predicate that includes attributes of the relation so what is that predicate sir? so in simple i can say this where clause you can simply put all the conditions that you want to have in the table in the above example my condition was a should be greater than 18 so if you have such conditions in your queries you just have to add those in the where clause so these conditions are nothing but the predicates and what is meant by this qualification that is along with the where clause so just now i said your database is so complex that you may have to deal with more than one table more than one condition isn't it so the what you have to do is if you are having more than one condition to be added in the where clause that you can link up all the conditions of the attributes using some operators like end or or not so combine all those conditions together in one single statement of the where clause and execute the query so in short so let's try to say say about the basic structure the basic structure of sql mainly deals with the three queries or three clauses sorry three clauses so that is your select where you specify the target list from where you give the list of all the tables that you that are involved in the query and next one where where you put all the conditions based on which the data has to be filtered out and shown you as the output and what is this distinct so distinct is nothing but you are trying to avoid the duplication of the data so just make sure that whatever the output you are getting as in the from the select clause make sure that there won't be any duplicates it should be of a distinct nature simple
no duplicates. So this is about the distinct nature. So let's try to have a small glance now. SQL is nothing but the structured query language. It mainly deals with the, the tables or I can say it is it works over the relational kind of database. And next one, it is a non-procedural kind of language. That means you may have to specify only what data uh, that is uh, how to get the data and what data is needed that you need not specify over here because you already have the backend or I can say the predetermined algorithms over here based on which the backend execution happens and you get the output. And the main foundation for your SQL is the relational algebra concept. And next one, uh, the queries what you write in your SQL are very close to English language. Uh, like how you have seen in the example just now, select from where condition. And moreover, SQL is not case sensitive. So you can keep on writing your query without minding about the capital or small letters. And from this, it's very clear that you can comfortably work over SQL, uh, work over the tables using SQL language. So next one is a basic structure where we have seen about the select from where clauses using an example. So hope the concept is clear. Thank you very much.